wax or pods, mini wall fan diffusers, mini diffusers, Scentsy Go. What in the world are all of these things and what is the best way for you to use it? Let's talk about that right now. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Southern and I am your independent Sensei consultant. Today we are going to talk about all of the things, pods and diffusers. With so many options now with Sensi, we are so much more than just wax and warmers. I want to talk about the three different items that we now have that use our pods. Talk about what the pods are, how long do they last, which one of these scent systems is best for you, and what's the best use for them, right? Okay, let's get into it. So first and foremost, again, I know that we're mostly known for our wax and our warmers. However, we do have what we call Scentsy Pods. This is a pack of pods, and it comes with a pack of two for $10. These pods are essentially filled with little crystals, filled with essential oils, or infused with essential oils for the scent that you prefer. Now, not all of our scents come in the pods, unfortunately. However, there are quite a few to choose from. So what is the benefit with pods versus wax? First of all, obviously, you won't have a waxident with pods, <laughs> right? So typically, if you have a high traffic area, um, an area where you have animals coming in and out, maybe an area where you have guests and you want to be able to fill it with aroma, but you don't necessarily want the option of spilling wax, which our wax is going to come up very easily, but still who wants to deal with it, right? So this gives um, you a great option to still scent certain areas of your home or your car or your travel trailer or your office, um, lots of different areas with things other than warming wax. Um, also, sometimes you might be in an area like a classroom where they don't want you using a warmer even though there's no flame, there's no direct heat that could actually burn anybody, but still just because you're around kids maybe they don't want you to use a warmer. So let's talk about all of these different items that we have. So we have three different scent delivery systems that now use our pods. I'm going to start with our um, mini fan diffuser, which is brand new that just came out this season. I'm actually super excited about it. I actually really like it, but I like it for its own particular use. So this is the box that a mini fan diffuser comes in. Tiny, compact, great. I love it. This is what one of them looks like. This is actually the mini fan diffuser in mint. As you can see, it's actually a fairy mute, fairy, it's fairy muted. No, it's a very muted mint. <laughs> Say that three times fast. As you can tell, this is going to have just a little fan right there in the middle. It has little tiny feet on the bottom there to give it a little bit of a, a raise above um, whatever surface you have it sitting on so that the airflow is good for it, right? And in this case, you're going to take one of your pods and you're going to just set it inside of the mini fan diffuser. Um, you can set it this way. It's a little loose as you can see when you do it that way. You can also set it this way, which gives it a little bit more sturdiness inside there. But as you can see, there's no way to contain that. I mean, if it falls or something, whatever, this is going to come right out, which isn't a huge deal. But just letting you know, it does need to be on a flat, stable surface. Um, so what would be the best uses for this? Now, in this case, this has to be plugged in. This is not a chargeable unit or a rechargeable unit. The power is it being plugged in via USB. 
So currently I have it in uh, my office right here. I have it plugged into my laptop. I have used it in my car. A lot of our cars nowadays have the little uh, USB port so you could take it in your car just as easily um, and use it there. You might eventually need to get a longer cord um, if you wanted it to be like on an end table in your bedroom where you might have this plugged into like a USB type box into just a socket in the wall. Um, that's probably the only disadvantage to this particular unit. I will say having it in my car, now having it, I have a Honda, Honda Odyssey. Um, so the way that my dashboard is set up, because of the length of the cord, there's only one or two places where I could put it. One of them being basically in my ashtray. So, um, you know, that's just something to think about when you're considering this for your car mostly. I have a friend flying around, I can see. It's going to land in my hair. I'm going to have to kill it. <sighs> Anyhow, <laughs> sorry. Uh, anyhow, so that is something to consider for placement for this. This works great when I have it just plugged into my laptop, right? I have it here on my desk. Um, I can just plug it in. My laptop has a few different USB ports, so it's easy for me to put this in. I don't need a long cord for this at all um, because it's fine to just be right here at my desk. This would be great for an office great for a classroom if you just kind of wanted like a little bit of scent in your own personal space. However, depending on the scent, I would almost guess that this could probably fill the majority of your classroom even with just one pod. Now that's the other thing. Remember that this one only fits one pod. So that will make a difference maybe on the scent that you want to use or the size of the room that you use this in. I have a half bathroom downstairs. A lot of homes are equipped with only half bathrooms, so it's a very small space. This would be great in something like that. If you have um, an area where you could plug this in and attach it to a USB box to be plugged in, right? So, or hey, even if you had, hey, I just thought of this. If you just needed it like temporary for say companies coming over and you wanted to scent a half bathroom really quick, if you have, I have one, I just moved it, um, a portable battery charger like for your phone, you could totally plug this in and then charge it that way and it wouldn't have to take up a plug on your wall. We're going somewhere with this. <laughs> All right, so that's the basics of um, this mini fan diffuser. Again, there's no on and off switch. The way that you're gonna turn it on is just by plugging it in. And the way that you're gonna turn it off is by remembering to unplug it. So if you don't remember to unplug it, it's gonna continue to run and use up your scent. So from there, we will go into our mini wall fan diffusers. Again, we're using the same type of system it also has a fan inside, but this is obviously meant to be plugged in um, like our mini warmers into a bathroom. I actually do have this typically in my downstairs bathroom. Um, I oh, oh. <sighs> Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> Very Merry Cranberry is my absolute favorite scent and that's what's in here. Unfortunately, it is not available any longer. However, Back to the subject at hand. <laughs> this one, you can put two pods in it. Let me see, oh. Um, so you can actually put two pods in this one so that you can have more scent if you like. The tops, these are actually plastic, so this makes it very friendly, very child friendly, very animal friendly. If you wanted to plug this in like in a hallway where you have high traffic or animals going. I have, well, two German Shepherds left now large German Shepherds when we had our third male um, he was 120 pounds so yeah we would have never put like a mini warmer um, in the hallway plugged in but something like this at that time would have been great um, so yeah I have this in my half bathroom downstairs I also use this particular one in my bathroom in my bedroom in my master bedroom 
because I have a cat that's a little bit of a spaz and we have to put her food up on top of our sink. We have a large double sink area. We have to put her food up there because if our dogs come in, they will eat her food. So, and she is all over the place, like literally all over the place. So to keep her from spilling the wax and running into it, because where she walks across is basically where this would have to be plugged in. So it makes it a really great place to have one of these so that wax is never an issue, but we still get to have amazing scent in our bathroom area. Um, another really great thing about this particular one is if you have an older home or just an area that just has a weird socket, there's actually a little button under there that you can see. And you can turn this plug so that it fits whatever your needs are. And all of our mini warmers do the same exact thing. So again, these are great because of the plastic, so you don't have to worry about them breaking. They're great because you don't ever have to worry about wax being an issue. Um, for high traffic areas and with two pods, you can really um, set a lot of aroma into a room. So this is a really great option. Again, this has a power button that's right here. You're going to have to turn this on with the power button and it will not shut off on its own. You will have to remember to turn this off. That's probably the only downfall that I have with this um, when I do use it in my downstairs bedroom when I have guests. I wish there was a way that it would have like an automatic shut off after, you know, two to four hours or something like that, just because otherwise it just runs all night if I forget and then I use up a lot of my scent. Other than that, I actually really like this unit. When it first came out, to be quite honest with you, I was kind of like, okay, well, we have the Scentsy Go, like, who cares about another thing with pods? But it actually ended up being really great for a lot of reasons and I highly recommend this for especially classrooms, high traffic areas, guest areas, that kind of thing. All right, now down to my ultimate favorite is our Scentsy Go. So this is our Scentsy Go. This is the original unit that we've had that uses the pods. Now, this is rechargeable and it is cordless. So you can run it while it's still plugged in, but you can also have it, as you can tell, completely cordless. That was my tablet. <laughs> and if you can hear that, it's very, very quiet. Oftentimes, because I keep forgetting that you can just look at the light and see that it's on, I'm always going, is it even on? Because <laughs> it's so quiet. I use this in my car. We take this in our travel trailer because especially in a travel trailer, if you travel with one at all, you know how it is with having things plugged in. Um, we go and work a youth camp every summer and this is a wonderful way to have great aroma and fragrance in our travel trailer with the kids going in and out <laughs> and not have to worry about things being plugged in. Fills up the entire trailer. Um, I used to always say this for small spaces as well, just because it uses the pods, but we recently went into a hotel. It was a little bit of a suite and um, the bedroom was to the far back and I had this setting on the nightstand that was the furthest from the front door, um, all the way as far back into the hotel room as you could go. And I had turned it on, we went to dinner, when we came back, we walk into the living room, I would just open up the door and I could smell this throughout the entire hotel room. And it was like, a, you know, it was kind of straight back. So it was like the living room and the little bathroom area and then the bedroom, sort of a straight back layout. Um, but again, we came in and I could smell this as soon as we walked in. Now that was very Mary Cranberry, which again is no longer available. I'm really hoping it comes back next year or I'm probably going to cry, but I digress. <laughs> so again, this is amazing. Now we have two models of these. One of them is this particular one that I have rose gold or silver. All that it's referring to is this strip that you see right here. That's it. Doesn't do anything. It just has, and I would say really, this is probably more tan than rose gold, but at any rate, that's what the rose gold and the silver is referring to. We also have a white one. It's just, um, excuse me, Scentsy Go White. 
Um, the difference between the two, this one actually cycles through separate, several, excuse me, it is actually seven different colors um, of light. Um, and there's two different speeds on the fan on here. What you see right here, all of this is actually a wrap. So typically this is all white. It's all the color that you see right there. Um, but I put a wrap on it for the sake of advertisement, right? Because I'm a sensing consultant and that's what we do. So <laughs> as you can see, there are two different buttons right there. The top one that you can see is the fan. There's a little picture of a fan. You can tell on the bottom there, or excuse me, the middle one, um, it is actually the bottom button, um, has a little light bulb on it. So that is actually the light. Um, I'm going to... I might have to turn this color off, but you can kind of see it. That is like a light blue color. And it will begin to cycle through the different colors. Um, I'm going to see if you can see it with this lighting on. There is also two different settings of the fan. So you can have an intermittent fan. There it goes. It's starting to change color. And that's a little bit of it's a green hue right there and much brighter on my end because I can see the actual color where yours is being faded out quite a bit by my lamp up there. Um, but you can have it on an intermittent um, timing where every 30 seconds it's releasing some or a continual uh, release of scent. Obviously, if you use the intermittent one, it's going to last you quite a bit longer. Um, so again, this cycles through seven different colors. It is really pretty, but ultimately it doesn't really make it any better of a unit. Um, this one right now sells for $50 US and um, this one or this now this is going to a really pretty um, teal color, blue, bluish color, not teal, like an aqua color. Um, It'll go through yellow, it has red, it has purple. It's going into the purple right now. Anyhow, um, and then this is where you're gonna charge it with your USB. And that just takes a regular mini USB is actually what that is. So the all white unit doesn't have any lighting options at all. And um, that one runs up to 10 hours on a charge. This one, actually, as you can see, this beautiful purple color, I love the purple. Um, this one actually goes up to 18 hours. So believe it or not, you would think not, being that the lighting is different, right? But um, anyhow, so that is the main differences between the units. Going back to the pods, so these pods last up to 120 hours um, when you use these in your scent delivery systems. Now, some of our scents, just like anything else, whether it be cologne or our waxes or anything else, obviously some scents are stronger than others, some scents last longer than others. Um, winterberry apple tea, very merry cranberry, which is my favorite. Um, those two were very strong and they lasted a long time. I used it pretty much every day and I would have it on while I was in my car. It probably ran intermittently and then shut off on its own. I believe it shuts off after four hours. Um, and I would run it every day like that. And I could smell those pods strongly in my car for a good month. I had it in my car for about a month. And I went through a drive through at a fast food place and the lady opens the window and instantly says, oh my word, your car smells so good. She smelled that after a month over all the food that she was working around. At about a month and a half, I could still smell it a little bit in my general front area of my van. Not quite as strong, obviously, but the scent lasted forever. When it comes to cars, I highly recommend just investing in one of these versus continually spending money on our car bars or our scent circles. Um, again, some people have had great outcomes with those. I really haven't had either one of those work in my vehicle at all. Um, or very, very, very short period of time. Not worth the money to me. I'm going to spend you know, the same amount of money purchasing six car bars as it would cost me to get the all white one of these. And of course I'd have to spend a little bit more, um, and then it pods on top of it, but it's going to last me way longer. So 
that's just my personal opinion. Um, again, most of these last for a really long time. They provide great scent. Um, there is a limited amount of scents that do come in it, unfortunately. So there we have it. That's all I wanted to talk about today for this particular video. If you have any questions at all, please drop a comment in the comments below. Um, links to all of these products will be linked down below. If you have any of these products, let us know what do you use them for? How has your success been with them? Do you recommend them? Um, or, you know, be honest, has there been an issue with one of them? Have you found them not to work very well in a particular setting? Let us know. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I appreciate comment, like, subscribe, and I hope you guys have a good evening or day, wherever you're at. Spend lots of time with friends and family because that's what's most important. All right, guys, have a good day. Bye-bye.